Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on using OpenShift with Jenkins. So what we have here is a situation where I want Jenkins to automatically deploy my Kubernetes deployments, services, whatever onto the OpenShift cluster. For this, we want to create a Jenkins pipeline. How the pipeline is going to work is Jenkins is going to connect to a different virtual machine. This is a agent and the agent is where we have the OC CLI installed, the OpenShift client installed. The agent virtual machine is going to connect to GitHub and from there download all the EMLs that I need and then deploy those EMLs onto the OpenShift cluster. How will it connect to the OpenShift cluster? Using a token. Because we are not going to configure a user's authentication. Jenkins will be connecting. So Jenkins will connect as a service account. Jenkins will not connect as a normal user. Even though I can use Jenkins to connect as a normal user as well, it is not the industry practice. So we want to connect from OpenShift client to the virtual machine. So this connection should happen via a service account. And service, ac service accounts use tokens for authentication purpose. So what we want to first configure is this OpenShift client with Jenkins. How will Jenkins communicate to the OpenShift client? So this is the first thing I want to configure. Then we want to write the pipeline, which is the groovy code. So we have the pipeline here. Pipeline, which is going to be provided to Jenkins. And this is written in the groovy language, which I'll take you through. So the first thing I want to do is connect Jenkins to the OpenShift client. So what we'll do is, We'll go to the OpenShift client. Here we are. And I will just check out its IP address of the virtual machine. It's 192.168.1.5. So I want Jenkins to connect to this virtual machine. For that, we are going to go into Jenkins and we're going to click on manage Jenkins. Then scroll down to nodes where, where it is here. And click on new node. Give the node a name. So let's call it OpenShift underscore workstation or whatever you want to call it. Permanent agent is the option you are going to choose and click on create. For Jenkins to be able to connect to a node, you need an SSH connection, obviously. You also need a directory that Jenkins is going to use to put all the important data, such as whatever it clones, whatever it creates. As well as you need Java installed. On the virtual machine which you want to connect to Jenkins, on that virtual machine Java should be there. In this case, the OpenShift client VM should have the OC command to connect to OpenShift and Java to connect to Jenkins. And this connection will happen via SSH. So what we can do is, we can come to the uh, Jenkins GUI and provide a remote root directory. This is the path where Jenkins will store its data on the remote virtual machine. I can create a directory, sudo mkdir pair Jenkins, and then sudo chown rn var Jenkins, and chdrp as well. Now I can provide the directory name here, that's var Jenkins. So, Whenever Jenkins connects to this virtual machine, it's going to use this directory to store all the content. A label. Labels are important because the pipeline will use them. So in order to tell the pipeline that, hey, use this virtual machine, we need to give it a label. I'll copy, I'll copy the same name in the label section as well. Usage will be use this node only when the expression is matching. So when the label is there. Launch method will be via SSH. Give the virtual machine's IP address that we just saw was 1.5. And we need the username and the password. So we'll click on add and then click on Jenkins. It's username with password, that's correct. The virtual machine's username and the virtual machine's password. And we'll give it an ID of OpenShift Workstation SSH and click on add. Choose the credentials here. 
post verification strategy is going to be non verifying you would not do that in uh, production in production you would want to have a host key verification but i don't have that configured here so i'm going to skip this and click on save click on the openshift workstation and we have an error here let's click on log and we have ssh error so as we can see here we are able to connect to the virtual machine however the java package is not installed due to which we are getting this error so what we want to do is on our openshift client virtual machine we want to install java now the installation steps will differ according to the operating system that you are using in my case i'll just simply run the command sudo apt install because this is an ubuntu based virtual machine uh, default hyphen jre and the second package that's default hyphen jdk and once these packages are installed the virtual machine will have java and then jenkins will be able to successfully connect to the virtual machine we'll take a look at it so this is around 150 mb of packages should not take a lot of time and then we can see whether jenkins is able to connect or not connect and in case jenkins isn't able to connect then we'll troubleshoot that as well so let's wait for this to happen okay now that java is done installing running the java hyphen version command works and if i open up the browser and go to jenkins click on log again scroll down to the bottom we can see agents successfully connected and online so now everything is working jenkins is able to connect to the openshift workstation the next step is going to be to create the pipeline the pipeline is written in the groovy language so what we want the pipeline to do for us is connect to the openshift client after that uh, download the content from the git repository and deploy it onto openshift but we will log in into openshift via the token based authentication so you can use any editor to write the pipeline i am going to be using vs code because it provides auto completion but if you want to use vi or vim or something else then you can do that as well so let's create a file call it jenkins file that's the name that we give to the jenkins pipeline and this is written in the groovy language so it starts with pipeline pair of curly brackets agent another pair of curly brackets and label which particular virtual machine is supposed to run this pipeline so we added an agent known as openshift underscore workstation we'll just verify the name yeah so we'll mention that here openshift underscore workstation so this is the virtual machine that's responsible for running the pipeline the next step is going to be to start writing all the stages of the pipeline whatever we need the pipeline to do for us so now we can after the agent part write the next part that's going to be for environment the environment part specifies any environment variables that you are using so i'm using the first variable that's openshift underscore server which provides me the url of my openshift api so that's https api.ocp412.networknuts.lab colon 6443 that's the port number the second one that's openshift underscore namespace in which project do i want to do this so that's devops hyphen pipeline then we have the deployment underscore yaml underscore path name or path of the file that is our manifest file so that's deployment dot yml we have our git repo where we are going to upload all the deployment files and everything else so that's going to be https github.com slash my username slash jenkins hyphen openshift hyphen pipeline dot git so that's my git repo where i will be uploading everything uh, now you can create the git repo in case it's not there for you and then we have the openshift underscore token so that's authentication how are you going to connect to openshift so we need to first generate a token how can you do that so let's come to our openshift client and right now you can see i'm logged in as a bob user which is my admin user's name 
So what I'll do is I'll make sure I'm in the correct project. And in that project, I'm going to create a service account. I already have a service account with me. Let me show you known as Jenkins, which I'm going to delete. So OC delete SA Jenkins. And then we'll run OC create service account and give this a name Jenkins hyphen user. And then we'll run OC policy add role to user. We are going to give him admin privileges hyphen Z for the service account name. And a namespace that's DevOps hyphen pipeline. So OC project, let's verify the name. Yeah. So now we have a service account, and that service account is there just created 24 seconds ago. OC describe service account Jenkins hyphen user. And we can see that it has a token. This is its token for the authentication. So I can just copy that token. This is a token secret. And then we can run OC describe secret and thus token secret. Press enter. And here is your token. We can copy the token. Open up Jenkins. Go to dashboard. Manage Jenkins. Scroll down to credentials. System. Global. Add. We are going to use secret text because it's a token. Secret is going to be open. Sorry, the tokens value. ID is going to be open shift hyphen. Uh, call it whatever you want to, but generally you want to follow a particular naming convention. So let's say open shift hyphen service hyphen account hyphen token and open shift token or Jenkins. That's the description and click on save. Now you have a token ready. So in your pipeline, we are going to write here credentials and give the tokens ID. That's going to be open shift hyphen service hyphen account hyphen token. Now that all the environment variables are set, you can move to the next part of writing the actual stages, the actions to perform. So stages. The first stage is going to be to log in into OpenShift cluster. For that, we are going to write the steps. Script, script is to run a Linux command and provide the command. So that's OC login hyphen hyphen token where I'll get the tokens value that's from the variable open shift underscore token hyphen hyphen server so that's my open shift api so that's going to be open shift underscore server and then I don't have a TLS certificate a valid one so I'm going to write here hyphen hyphen insecure hyphen skip TLS verify but in case you have a valid TLS certificate then this step is not going to be required for you the next stage is going to be to own the git repository so git git repo which contains all your deployments that you need to deploy steps uh, then we'll write here script and in script, we'll write here git branch. The so branch is main. I can verify that. Let me just github.com slash my name slash Jenkins open shift pipeline. And we can see it is main. Yeah. So that's the branch main. And then we also need to provide the URL. So the URL is the variable git underscore repo underscore url this is good now we have the next stage which is your final stage to deploy the eml so deploy to open shift we have the steps script 
and then we will write the command that's sh for a linux shell command oc apply hyphen f and the deployment path so that's going to be the variable deployment underscore eml underscore path and the namespace that's important that's open shift underscore namespace this is your jenkins pipeline that you need to provide to jenkins now using vs code gives me uh, auto completion for the curly brackets and the syntax highlighting which is the color that makes it a little easy to read the next thing you want to do is upload this to your git repo so as you can see here i have this already on my git repo the same pipeline that we just created now we are going to go to jenkins click on dashboard new item jenkins open shift pipeline choose the pipeline option click on ok scroll to the bottom and here you will see an option for pipeline script replace that with pipeline script from scm scm is git give your git repository url so we'll just copy that from here and we'll paste it here credentials are not required because the git repo is a public repo branch is going to be main that's a change required script path is jenkins file in the present working directory that is correct and click on save let's click on build now and see what happens go to console output and we have a failure there is a problem in the eml so there is an intent problem or there is something wrong no worries we can fix the eml let me quickly fix it so i fixed the error and this is good because we are able to understand that there was a problem in lightning 55 let's go back to the pipeline click on build again and let's wait for the output so we can see the first stage is done, the second and the third and the fourth stage is also done. Click on the second pipeline, click on console output and go to the bottom and you can see finished success. If I come to the virtual machine, run the OC get all command, then you can see that the pod got created, the service and the deployment and everything else required has been created. And this did not happen manually. We did this using Jenkins. Similarly, we can add more steps. Another step that could be a very important step is before deploying the pipeline, or sorry, before deploying the application, we want to do a YAML lint that is using the cube val CLI to verify the YAML's integrity, whether it's following all the best practices or not and then deployed. So that's again a great way to do it. I hope this video is useful to you in deploying your applications onto an OpenShift cluster. I'll see you in the next one.